Hello members, I'm here with Jared and we both thought it would be really neat for us to show you how an important tool in Jared's arsenal works. Actually a step meter and it tells us what the speed of the greens are. Jared? Uh, well thank you John. Uh, that's right. So what I have here is a three foot long piece of metal with a notch cut out of it for the golf ball to rest. This is called a stimp meter. It was invented by an Oakmont member back in 1937. Uh, his name was Ed Stimpson and he uh, aptly named it the stimp meter. Uh, the reason why is he wanted to learn a way to quantify and measure green speeds. Fun fact, back in 1937, the Oakmont greens measured at two and a half feet as far as green speeds go. Today's greens are a little bit faster and we're gonna take a look and see how fast. Alright, so we're going to load up the first ball and I just lift it up until it rolls down the ramp. We have a one, a little, little downhill jump. We have our second one. We do three so we can get an average of the three. They should, for consistency's sake, all roll about the same distance, of course. And it looks pretty good there. And then I'm going to measure them. This is, again, a three foot long meter, so you can see. We are actually at 12, 12 foot 10 inches going that direction, but that's a little downhill. And so you take the average of the two directions and that gives you your stimp reading. So here we go, going back this way. One, two, and three. Again, the balls are all rolling the same, which is good. That's what we're looking for, consistency. Okay, so we were at 12 foot 10, and we're at nine foot six right there. So if you go halfway in between the two, we're around an 11 foot reading, which is our target speed for uh, here at Toscana in our season. Wow, that was really cool. Well, everyone, we look forward to seeing you at the club.